Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Brodor, aka Brilly, and today I'm going to show you how to get really cool glass looks in seconds. It looks just like this. Let's go. And let's just jump right into it and do it. We're going to create a speckle material. Now, the only additional thing that I did here was in my render settings, I turned it to path tracing so we can get more accurate specular materials and samples 2000. Uh, you might need more, you need, might need less. And then I did drop my GI clamp. All right, let's get right into it. In this specular material, just so it renders quicker in the common, I put fake shadows on. It's not going to make a difference for this. It's not as unbiased as a specular material, but you know, it's going to render quicker for what we want to do. All right, so let's just add this spectrum material to my objects. Perfect. All on all of them here, all the same. And we'll go into and open the node editor up. And let's just submit a render. So anytime we're doing anything with glass, your scene environment and your lighting have so much to do with your overall render. So let's come in here and we'll say a texture environment. And let's place in this texture environment and we'll just make this black. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do an HDRI environment. So I'm going to use the good old GSG HDRI link here just so I can really quickly get and access a whole library of HDRIs. Um, I'll start with a new camera here because there is some camera settings that I tweaked and we can do that all together. Wonderful. I am going to change. Oh, perfect. It already picked up my focal length for my previous one. So I do. I did change the focal length there. Awesome. So we're good to go here. So there we go. Just with that basic glass material is already looking kind of cool. Um, I want to just change this here. This should be the visible environment so we can have a black environment and my HDRI environment will be my primary environment here. Now in this material to get that really cool vibrant color look, you're just going to want to go into the dispersion of that spectrum material and just crank it all the way up. I mean, obviously there's could be a kind of a threshold here and you can play with that but i'm going to just crank it up for this example today and just like that i mean honestly that's cool just as it is with the default hdri when you add an hdri link here right which ends up being which one uh three softbox studio and you can kind of see what it looks like here really really simple but then we can add like a little bit extra flair to it. So again, I'm going to use some Grayscale Gorilla stuff just so I can act uh, access their, their kind of texture packs, you know? And so let's open up that plus library and I'll go into texture, scratches. You can go into anything you want. And I'm just going to drag and drop some scratches in here. And I'm going to put this into the bump map. And now just like that, we've got these really cool, nice scratches on our material. Wonderful. I'll close out of that. There's really not a whole lot more that I'm going to do. You can, you can always mess around with other things in here um, in this material itself, such as the index, the IOR, right? So uh, index of refraction, depending on how you want the light to bend as it goes through more or not at all, right? And they both give you kind of cool different looks. Um, I'll just bring this back to, I'll bring it to like 1.4, something like that, close out of that. And I mean, honestly, just like that, we're good to go. But I think I'm going to swap out some of the HDRIs. And you can see as we kind of click through here, you're going to get a variety of different looks depending on what HDRI we use. And so you just find one that you kind of really like. You know, it can be something that already has colors in it. It can be something that doesn't. And I'm just going to go through and, yeah, I mean, this that one, that one there is pretty cool. Let's see if we get anything else that maybe has some more vibrant, rainbowy type colors. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Ooh, that, that one's pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm liking what a lot of these here are doing. So just go through and click and play around with it. Maybe this one offers a little bit more color, but it's kind of lighting it all up a bit too much. What I notice is stuff that adds the most contrast is really the most interesting to use here. So... Anything that will do that, I think will be pretty darn good. But again, this is the fun part of like dialing in that overall lighting and look here. And let's see what it looks like with something very minimal. Eh, probably doesn't offer enough, you know, if we're going to go that minimal with it. <clears throat> I like this. I think something like this could be really good though. Um, but we could use a little tweaking. That's where we go into our Octane camera here. And in the Octane camera... Uh, maybe I'll mess with the overall exposure and then maybe drop the gamma down to get some more of that contrast in here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. Maybe I'll increase the saturation a little bit. 
yeah, I mean, I'm digging that already. Let's try now that we've messed with some of those settings and see if there's an HDRI that kind of goes a little better with that. I mean, and again, like this looks pretty awesome just as this is like, this could be a, a really cool look. I'm actually kind of digging that right now. So let's go with that. So back into the Octane camera, mess with that exposure maybe a little bit more. Maybe we're kind of blowing it out a bit too much here. That's what this awesome highlight compression is for. Let's increase that. And now we've got that vibrancy back. Let's see what happens if we lower the gamma a little bit more. Yeah, I really kind of dig that. It's got this cool neon thing going now. Maybe go into that post-processing. Let's increase that glare power. And then maybe we'll bring up the cutoff a little bit. So it's kind of a little bit more selected. Yeah, I'm digging that. Maybe a little bit more glare amount. Sweet. And maybe a little bit of blur to soften that look up overall. Maybe a little spectral intensity here. And we can shift that color a little bit. I'm loving that, right? That's it. How simple and quick and easy is that to kind of get this overall look? Maybe increase that highlight compression. Yeah, something like that. It's got this nice, cool little glow to it. And just like that. Now, you could play with a handful of those parameters that I just showed, you know, between a different type of bump map that's on there, either no bump map or play around with whatever that could be. Messing around with the exposure, different HDRIs, and the index of refraction on that material, as well as the dispersion. You know, we put it at 100%, but, you know, there's that whole gradient that you can work with it. Boom, that's it. Cool glass in a matter of minutes.